leather jacket here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. A metal mic from the Angry Samoans. The point I would like to make is any fucking asshole who says shit about Kiss, meaning, you know, the original Kiss pre disco, is full of fucking shit. I will kick their fucking ass right here, right now. Any loser who talks shit about Kiss can eat my fucking whatever, eat my butt bunghole. <laughs> The reason our band is doing songs that are about 20 years old is because these kids are too young for Chuck Berry. They don't dig the Chuck Berry thing, so they dig the punk rock thing. As you can see, the songs have not changed in about 20 years. When I throw a 20 cent thrift town bunny rabbit at you, you're supposed to throw it back and hit me, you fucking Nimrod. Talks back. That was good, man. Where... That was it. Hey, that oh. ran, that ran the leg. Hit me, baby, one more time. Are you familiar with Metal Mike from the Angry Samoans? He's a huge fan of yours. No. He has this underground punk band. Is that that gang that threw a brick through the window when I was at a party with Bobby Dahl and Brett Michaels? Aren't you a big Warrant fan? Fucking A. Coliseum, Poison, with Warrant, second build. How could you resist? How could you pass that one up? One of the five best arena bands I ever fucking saw. Arena rock bands, Warrant at the Oakland Coliseum. To top that, one of the five best club bands I ever saw in my lifetime. Hard rock, Warrant at the Palo Alto Edge, firmly the Keystone. I rest my fucking case. Did Metal Mike and I do time together? No. <laughs> So let's see some of the merchandise. Now here's the fucking gayest band I ever saw. We're giving away free lame rock cards. Lame ass shit from 1991. Randy Rampage, Annihilator. Woo! Stacy Q, one dollar, better than heaven. If you don't own this record, you are so fucking gay and useless. Or actually, if you're gay, you own this record for sure. We wrote a touching ballad a while back, about eight years ago, called Hip Hip Hooray, Grunge Music is Dead. some real kick-ass music, come down to our gigs, we can get you Genie in a Bottle, 50 cents, out of the Rasputin's junk bin, at cost. Baby Hit Me One More Time, 50 freaking cents. And for those of you who actually like good music, I gotta get rid of a Slim Harpo CD for $5. When I was christened Metal Mike in 1971 by the dormitory wusses at University of Texas, Austin, who didn't like Black Sabbath, Fuck you, asshole. And the asshole who didn't like Grand Funk, fuck you too. They call me, oh, Metal Mike. Turn that, what's that shit? Turn that shit off. They go, dude, it's heavy metal. Oh, yeah, Metal Mike, turn that shit off. <laughs> You're watching the ass kicking his best, rocketest, motherfuckingest show in the history of cable TV, reality effing check. 